Greetings, everyone, along with Eddie Olchek, Mike Emmerich, right before game time here. It's an interesting sport in that sometimes your star players only play a third of the time. Do they ever make a contribution? Though? Well, you need them, Doc, to make those big contributions. Star players are a real important cog to the success of your team because if you don't have a lot of them, you're not going to have much success. We direct our attention to the Nets and the starting goalies. Frederick Anderson passed Henrik Lundqvist Froland a team record of most shutouts in a single season in the Swedish Hockey League. Jimmy Howard out of the University of Maine where he was an All-America choice in his first year with Detroit finished second in Rookie of the Year voting to Tyler Myers. These two teams are ready to play and we're ready to watch. And we have begun one in a long list of games between these two teams. That's why we look forward to them. The Leafs are given a hooking minor. This was OK about 10 years ago. Not anymore. That's a hooking call. Detroit special teams will have their first chance of the game. Well, the power play guys have to go to work now. This is an opportunity they hope for. You want one early, and you want to see if you can get on the board first. 21 seconds. A point hammer shot. Say, missed on that. Directing that one to Kadri. Nicely into the zone. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. Gets it out. Puck fired down, decision made. Defenders first, icing. Danish born goaltender Frederick Anderson, a big guy, six foot four, 229 pounds. Not much net in behind him when you're looking at that cage. And how about this? He only played two periods to get his first NHL win. He came in after his team was trailing in the first period. He had two shutout periods to earn his first National Hockey League win. The Wings have control of the puck through the neutral zone. He's got that pass at the point. Skates up the center zone wing. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. Detroit's power play could have made a big difference, but did not. You have to be 50-50 in a game on your special teams most nights to have a chance. The coach is going to be pleased with the way his penalty killers did the job there. Karam pass to Larkin. Looking to Marner. Oh, and he's hammered. Well, there's no surprise there, Doc. We expected a physical game. The contest will be aggressive from start to finish. There's an early hit to set the tone. Pass attempt to Nyquist. Puck is thrown to Larkin. Scooped up by Gardner. And now it's directed to Kadri. Rister grabbed. And he holds on, and the whistle stops playing. Howard's made a textbook stop here. He's in good shape positionally. He makes the save, and he makes it look really easy. Solid, clean win. The wings carrying on in the defensive zone. Took that away in his own zone. Canes that offensive line. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. Shoots one. That's a solid save. This is tiring labor. Nice work by Nielsen. Good save there. A howitzer. He scores. They jumped up on the bench beside me pretty quickly here. Very excited on the one side to have the game's first goal. Some shots, only one goal. A lot of opportunities. Love the mindset of getting pucks and people to the net. 
from the faceoff, and they lock up in a good reach. That's help from the wing. And he dumps it in. Pitching this one, Bajuris. Blocked away. Passing one off now to Erickson. Up to the point. Pass off the woodwork to Helm. Chip to Erickson. Shot nearly grazed the iron on that. That's a tough one to watch. Need the practice hitting the net. In with it now. Quick wrist shot. Turned away with the stick. Puck leaves the zone, and so play goes back to mid-ice. Has it back deep. Stood up there. Some contact there, and the puck is loose. A howitzer may not have been intentional, but he got it anyway. Jensen's ailing, but he can't get off the ice. He's going to have to try and finish the shift. Seals that pass. The Red Wings have forced another turnover, Doc. They've done a real nice job in that category in this close game. Around to the corner. Sends to the point. Good place to shoot from. The pad flashed out to turn that aside. Oh, broke it up. Smart recovery by John Tavares. Skilled play by DeKaiser. Detroit's moving the puck up the wing. Through the corner. Pass to the slot. Oh, and what magic did he pull out there? That was outstanding. Dogged determination there by Green. Trying to go to Hyman. Skates it into the zone. Got that pass near the blue line and now looks ahead. A shot. And a save. Boom, they came together that time, didn't they? He finishes his check here and drives his man right into the boards. Moving it to Johnson. Riley is hooked on the play. There will be a penalty. And now we get the stoppage of play in the penalty call. Detroit's two-minute penalty is a minor, and the call is hooking. Uh, more times than not, Doc, anytime you reach in around a player's hands that has the puck, you're going to get a hooking minor. Toronto's power play opportunity number is one. This one, the first one. You only get one chance to make a good first impression and see if they do. Just because it's your power play doesn't mean you can take a nap here. You have to work hard and continue to generate chances. Snapping a pass to Marner. Pitching it to Tavares. Nearing the 20th minute of this period. Good work in clearing it out. The first part of this power play has been a disaster. They haven't been able to get into the zone at all, get set up, and get pucks to the net. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. Loud pad save. And ring more bells on that one, one after another. I'm not sure how we stopped that first one. The Red Wings with a face-off win. Detroit's carrying it around through center. Play stopped. The puck went into the bench. Wow, that thing was close. A lot of times you end up moving after the puck goes by. I think that's what I did there. I don't think I saw that in time. Toronto's got another face-off win. The Leafs' power play let them down at a key point. Wonderful stop. This could really be frustrating for the coaches and the players on the bench when your power play doesn't find a way to come through for you. You have a chance to tie the game, and you just can't get it done. First period stats are final. We'll have some more entries as the second and third periods are forthcoming. It's a 1-0 game. Fanek's goal has made the difference so far, but is it the winner? Intermission time is here. Player bios and informative stories.
Eddie, we're about to enter the second period here. What did you think of the opening period of our game? The Maple Leafs didn't play with the puck much in that first period. It's reflected on the scoreboard. They'll need to gain more possession time in order to generate more chances and turn things around. Propelled to Mantha. To the point it comes. Really good cut of the pass. Good job in clearing it out of his own end. Looks ahead to start something. Directing that one to Mantha. On to Mantha. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. Brings it in for an attack. Wrist shot. The lane was jammed and it hit somebody. Detroit's looking to head man up the wing. The stick can break up a play and it just did. Good use of the stick. Broke that pass up. That puck struck him in front. Could this be icing? And it will be based on the defense arriving first. A little under four minutes gone. Detroit's got the lead, 1-0. The Red Wings win it. Cut that pass in his own end. Looking to Brown. Toronto's moving the puck up the wing. Quickly off the stick. Terrific determination by Marlowe. They score! And they've tied the game up! Well, I guess this game's not going to spread out. That goal ties it. The teams are so evenly matched. Detroit's won that faceoff and possession established. Blue line control. Shoots. Just threw it into his pad there. The battling continues along the board. Using the point. An enormous hit. Oh, he's been looking for that hit all night. Pass attempt to Brown. Steps in from the neutral zone. One timer, outstanding save with a glove. Nobody's taken a breath in this one, guys. This has been physical from the drop of the first puck in the first period, and it stayed that way here into the middle portion of the game. Puck drop, tie up, and help from the winger. It's dumped in. Toronto's lugging it along in the defensive zone. Into the attacking end. Great glove save, and he keeps it. That puck is held, and the whistle stops playing. The Leafs win the draw. All a part of generating an offense. Little pass off from the goal. Puck sails out of play, and it's in the stands. Under nine minutes play, and so it is one to one. The wings control from the faceoff. Into the end of attack. Has a chance to make a play through the corner. Skill play by Johnson. And in flight over the line. They can't find the target. You've got to make the goalie make the save. Can't do that unless the puck is on the net. I'd like to say that I think this game is going to open up and there's going to be all kinds of chances all over the place. But both teams have really adopted a never give an inch style of play. I think this is tight checking right down to the final horn. Oh, this is clearly a tripping call. He made no attempt to play the puck. It took the legs out from the attacking player. The Red Wings' power play gets another chance to operate. 
hasn't been effective yet. You're not going to get an endless supply of power plays, but they get another one here. See if they can punch through. Flings it. Score! A goal on the power play. doesn't miss. They get an opportunity to break the tie, and they're able to score, give their team a one-goal lead. The Wings have broken the tie, and we're still in the second period. Much uncertainty about which way this game's going to go. Puck dropped in the log jam, and the winger reached in and got it. Nicholas Cromwell assisted by number Muscled three. long to Green. Whiffed on the shot. Solid defensive play. Knocked off. Puck is thrown to Marlowe. And play is stopped for a penalty. Nyquist penalized two minutes for slashing. Oh, that's a blatant slash, Doc. Anytime that you slide your bottom hand up your stick and swing your stick, you're going to the box. Toronto's power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. Detroit penalty to number four. The Maple Leafs get the draw. Two minutes for flashing. Time of the penalty. Good quick poke check there. With a shot. The glove like lightning. Detroit's got a face-off win. He finally got it out of there. Gardner's trying to get from his own end to center. A shot. Wonderful save. And he holds on and stops play. Well, that's not challenging in the least. The goaltender's able to make the stop. He's got a clean line to see it. There's no challenge there. Just under seven minutes remaining. Detroit's gotten the tie-breaking goal. That's big for them. Good face-off victory there. Puck picked up here. Look out, the hits are coming. I like that he's trying to create space by throwing the body around. This is a way to change momentum in a hockey game. Games the blue line. The Maple Leafs power play has ended. What a great chance to tie the game. You wait for a power play like that, and the coaches are thinking that they've got the right scheme and the right people on the ice. It looked like they threw five strangers out there that time. Collected by DeKaiser. Cut that off between the blue lines. Takes it right back. Brings the shot. With no time whatsoever, he turned it aside. That was an impressive glove save, Doc. The shooter was right in the slot, but the netminder stared him down. Oh, lightning quick and a terrific save. You can't deliver the puck much better than that, but the goalie says no chance. That's an excellent save. that face off from the tie up the help came is able to move on in one into another big drive turned away with the stick and now it's directed to Marner lets it go great glove save slid to Larkin Defensive gem with the stick. Laid on to Marlowe. Pitching this one to Kapanen. One minute left. Into the last minute of the second period. With a blast! Got his pad on a changing shot. Passing one off now to Green. Chip to DeKaiser. Save! A quick turnover by the defense. Can they keep it going here? 
Hyman's tripped up. That should be a penalty. Detroit's given a minor here for tripping. I'm going to give credit to the puck carrier here. He kept his legs moving. He forced the back checker to reach in and take him off his feet. these first two periods of play so they'll get a rest as we start to think ahead toward period number three on to the shots on goal at the end of two periods 17 for Toronto and 15 for the Red Wings Detroit's goal came on this play there's at least one locker room that's happy at the end of this period we'll be right back call us for details or you can visit the team website minutes have been played they are getting ready for the third period here so take us back through the game what do you think Eddie Toronto's had very little time of possession doc they've been outplayed in that category big time but they're still in this game one shot and they're right in it the wings have some carryover time that they've got to kill off at the start of this period seeks the corner and down to Abdelkader that puck left the zone, and so everybody will have to reset. Detroit's cleared. A lot of work, but penalty time less and less now. Trying to go to Tavares. Good shooting place. Great save. Moving it to Matthews. Gains the zone. Let's a shot go. He won't avoid something for doing that. stoppage of play and we'll get the penalty a minor a piece great job by the official he's taking control of the game offsetting penalties on both sides the power play is all about adjustments they need to find a way to get more people and pucks to the net Eddie I'm with you on that power play beginning no matter how often you work on the power play the ones that struggle go back to the same basic tenets and it's to simplify things get it to the point Shoot it, get traffic, retrieve it, shoot it again. Gardner's going to learn really quick that you cannot skate around the ice with your head down. You got players looking to knock you into the third row. The Red Wings control from the neutral zone. And it's a good pickup. Snapping a pass to Tavares. Broke it up. And the pickup. Pitching it to Nielsen. He's got that at center. It's an onside play. Solid work there by Gardner. Shoots, just couldn't find the target. That was a dangerous chance, but unfortunately, we don't use soccer nets in hockey. Directing that one to Marner. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. Great chance here, two on one. Turned on net. Oh, pad stop on the redirect. He imposed his will. And now, after that period of time, we get the whistle and the penalty call. Toronto's got two on this one for tripping. He's got great stick positioning. Stick is on the ice, but unfortunately takes the skates out from under him. Anything you do once, you can do twice. Let's see if that applies to this particular power play. I like their setup on the power play that scored earlier, Doc. Let's see if they can get it set up again. Move the penalty killers around for a couple of good chances. Has that one measured in his own end. From the outside, blocked. 
Ling's power play will reset. He gains the zone. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. And the puck out of play into the player's bench. Oh, the puck's cleared into the bench, and somebody gets their hands on it, they'll grab it and flip it up over the glass to a fan who sits in the proximity right behind the bench. Just a tad under eight minutes off the clock here in the third. The Red Wings have eked out a two-to-one advantage. Power play time dwindling. Puck gotten by Nicholas Cronwall. The Red Wings power play let him down at a very important time. The power play's been okay tonight, but while they scored earlier in the game, they've often looked a little bit out of sync, and I guess it's a score! And this one is tied! Critical goal, now the game is tied, and we'll see who can get the upper hand in the next few minutes. Toronto's gotten the game even, and who knows what'll happen next. Somebody's gotta break this tie, or we'll do it in OT. And the face-off's won. Moved along and in. That puck hit him on the way to the net. Gathered up by Green. Time of the goal. Nine to Nyquist. Two seconds. And he steps across the line. Right to the point. Sent that pass on ahead. Puck comes out of the zone back to center ice, and so things will settle a bit. Looking to Mantha. Gathered up again by Gardner. Pass attempt to Marner. Carries it on in from center. Let's it go. Terrific opportunity, but it's off the mark. He zips that inches wide of the post. The goaltender would have no chance on that. The battle for possession continues. Gathered up again by Gardner. Let's it go. Missed on the shot. Terrific save there. Didn't look like he had anything to shoot at, and he made it tough. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. Howard's going to be able to make that save all day. His positioning is perfect. It's not a difficult scoring chance. Matthews failed on yet another faceoff in this very tight game. Takes that pass from the other point man. One timer, but ricocheted off the screen. So back to center ice they come on that offside. And they take that neutral zone face off. Puck is thrown to Matthews. Has it picked up? I know lots of people like high-scoring games. Well, actually, I'm one of them. But this has been almost like a well-played chess match. There's no room. There's no way that either team can find a way to get many more chances than there's been. Tries to get it on net. Save there. Holds on and gets that whistle. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. A little under four minutes to go in the third. A hockey game is one of lead changes, and this one has seen its lead vanish. Let's it go. Wow, what a glove save. A lot of pressure on that face-off they've won. Now let's see what they deliver. 
Puck covered, whistle blown. Face-off win there. Terrific grab with the glove. Detroit's got possession in the middle of the ice. Move to the shadow of the boards by Daly. And he dumps it in. Toronto's back in its own end, trying to work forward. And icing will be called on this play. The Red Wings are getting great goaltending. Here's another great glove save. This should really spark the team. A huge win at that end of the ice. Nicely into the zone. Let's it go. Score! <laughs> Fourth here in a tie game. Now they've got the lead. We'll see what they do with it. The Leafs have gotten a one goal lead here in the third period. Do they go for two or do they just try to protect this? A face off win. Let's see what develops. Now it's directed to Daly. Inside the final minute of regulation, this should be a wild finish. He's in on an onside play. As that point passes well. Detroit's getting the goalie to the bench. Net empty. Extra man out. May not have intended it, but it hit him. Net open. He scores! <laughs> There's no doubt who will win this game tonight after that empty netter. Everybody can exhale a little bit now once the empty netter goes in. That pretty well wraps it up. Maybe Toronto's got it off the draw at center. Solid neutralized poke check. Gains the zone. The Red Wings yank their goalie to try and get this back. Gathered up again by Nielsen. Good place to shoot from. Made the save. Let's it go. Outstanding save by the goalie. Amazing reaction. Five seconds left. Net empty. Score! <laughs> should put the icing on the cake. That's going to be too much for them to come back from that empty net or seal the deal. than a score indicates. And again, we thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed the evening as much as we did. For Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmerich saying good night. <laughs>